Pressure units for gases in chemistry. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about pressure and pressure units. So pressure is basically defined as the force of all the collisions of the gas particles in a container with the wall of the container divided by the area of the wall. So you can see this equation here that basically in general terms it gives us the force and that's all these gas particle collisions with the wall divided by the area which is essentially the area of that wall of the container that's holding that gas inside. And the bottom line here is that all gases exert pressure. So for instance, we have our atmosphere that's uh, sitting above us and that atmosphere does exert pressure also. And um, rather than having a container, the gas is held in by Earth's gravity, um, but it's still exerting a pressure on us. And that pressure is approximately one atmosphere. Now in SI units, that's 101,325 pascals. All right, so what are pascals? And this is the formal SI approved unit of pressure. And it's defined as one Newton per square meter. So essentially that's one Newton of force over an area of one square meter. Another common unit of pressure that I already mentioned is the atmosphere. And so basically this is the average atmospheric pressure at sea level. This can also be described in millimeters of mercury. And this is a much more common unit. And that's the amount of pressure exerted by a column of mercury that's exactly one millimeter high. So it exerts a one millimeter of mercury pressure. So that's one unit. And that unit was actually renamed to the tor, which is an equivalent unit. So you have one tor is equal to one millimeter of mercury. And basically, here is the equivalency. These are the main uh, units for pressure that we're going to use in this class. So there's one atmosphere, 760 millimeters of mercury, and 760 tor. And those are all equal to each other. So we can use you know, two, any two, basically to construct equivalencies and use them to convert pressure units. Okay, so let's practice that. So how many atmospheres are there in 595 tor? So use that equivalency, uh, construct conversion factor, and then do that conversion, and we'll talk about it to see if you're right. Okay, so we're going to construct a conversion factor between tor and atmospheres for this problem. So that's one atmosphere is equal to 760 tor. Now we're starting with 595 tor. And so that means that in our equivalency, our conversion factor here, we need to have tor on the bottom so that those units cancel out. So 595, 760 tor is on the bottom, and the unit that we want is going to be on the top of our conversion factor. And so when we do that math, 595 divided by 760, we're going to get 0.783 atmospheres. So this is the unit left over after we do our conversion. That's the unit that our new uh, quantity is in. Now, remember that these numbers in the conversion factor are exact. So in these gas uh, co conversion problems, you know, between various units of pressure, we're actually going to use the number of sig figs that is in the initial pressure of the gas. So in this case, you can see there are three sig figs. And so we have three significant figures in our answer. So remember this zero before the decimal place, that leading zero, that does not count in the uh, count of sig figs. Okay, so let's do another one. So the atmosphere on Mars is largely carbon dioxide at a pressure of 6.01 millimeters of mercury. So what is this pressure in atmospheres? So go ahead and try this one and then we'll talk about it. Okay, so we're going to use this, you know, the pressure equivalencies that we already have. And this time we're going to choose millimeters of mercury in atmospheres instead of tors in atmosphere. So again, we're starting off with 6.01 millimeters of mercury. So that means millimeters of mercury is in the numerator here. We need to put millimeters of mercury in our conversion factor in the denominator so that they cancel out. And then, of course, we're going to one atmosphere. So um, we're going to put that on top. When we do the math, 6.01 divided by 760, we're going to get 0.00791 atmospheres. 
Now again, uh, only the initial pressure is what we're going to use to count uh, sig figs, and there are three. So let's go over to our answer, and we can see that there's one, two, three, and all of these leading zeros do not count in, in counting sig figs. So one, two, three. And that's three sig figs. You can see it more clearly in the scientific notation. So remember, if you want to make that more clear to yourself how many sig figs you're using, you could always convert your answer into scientific notation.